Hello dear students, in this video we will see electric potential and potential difference. Now this word electric is related to the word electricity that what is the current that is flowing inside a circuit. Okay, now potential. What is potential? Potential is nothing but energy. So electric potential means the amount of potential energy or the amount of electric energy that is associated with a circuit that is called electric potential. Now suppose this is a circuit as you can see this is the source of energy which is DC source of energy. This is positive terminal. This is negative terminal. Now this is a load. Okay, this is a load. Now from here I current is flowing in this direction and it is coming back to this negative terminal. Now if you want to measure the energy associated with certain point in this circuit suppose here I want to measure what is the amount of energy associated with this point. Okay. So the amount of energy associated with this point is known as poten electric potential of this point. Okay. Now again potential difference. What do you mean by difference? What do you mean by difference? Difference means certain change between any two factor or certain change between any two points. So suppose here I want to measure what is the energy difference between this point and this point. Suppose this point is point A and this point is point B. Suppose I want to I want to measure the energy difference between point A and point B. So that difference is energy is known as potential difference. Now one question might come into your mind that why have I taken this region and this region, this point and this point, not in any other point because here you can see there is a load. Okay. When I current is flows through this current, when I current flows through the circuit, some of the energy is utilized by that load and rest of the energy is flowing through this wire okay so suppose e is the amount of energy which is flowing through this circuit out of this e amount of energy some amount is going to be utilized by the road load okay so if i am going to measure the potential difference between these two points okay i can know that what is the amount of energy that is utilized by this device or this load okay now to measure this potential difference there is a device called voltmeter is connected here so v is voltmeter here about voltmeter we will see in the next slides okay we'll read about voltmeter in the next slide so this is all about electric potential and potential difference now for a flow of charges in a conducting metal wire the gravity has no role to play now you can see that if you take different different tanks filled with water and connect them with the help of a pipe then due to the rule of gravity the water from one tank will move to the another tank but in case of electricity in case of flowing of charge in metallic wire or conductor gravity it do not play any kind of role it does not play any kind of role the electrons move only if there is a difference of electric pressure now Suppose this is a conducting wire from this in this conducting wire from one point to another point the electron will move only if there is a potential difference if there is an energy difference that is due to the electric pressure the electrons move now this electric pressure is called potential difference along the conductor that means whenever there is an energy difference electron flows. The chemical action within a cell generates the potential difference across the terminals of the cell even when no current is drawn from it. Now suppose if we take a cell, this is positive terminal, this is negative terminal, you know there, there, there always be a potential difference, energy difference between these two terminals although it is not connected through a conducting wire with some load, it is not connected but still there is a potential difference why because of across the terminal of this cell the chemical action within a cell what see this cell is made up of different different types of chemicals 
now the action that is done by the chemical or the chemical action within the cell itself generate the potential difference okay when the cell is connected to a conducting circuit element the potential difference it sets to the change uh, sets the charges in motion of the conductor and produces an electric current so here what happens due to the chemical action of this uh, due to the chemical actions within the cell itself it makes the it creates potential difference now from here from here the current is trying to move to here from positive terminal of the battery the current is trying to move to the negative terminal but as because there is no connection between positive and negative terminal it is not possible as soon as you give a connection through a conducting wire to the positive and negative terminal the current start flowing till it gets balanced till the potential difference get balanced in order to maintain the current in a given electric circuit the cell has to expand its chemical energy stored in it now this chemical energy due to which the potential difference is there that potential difference is stored within the battery itself okay now this positive and negative terminal of the battery when it is connected to when it is connected by a conducting wire the energy the battery is trying to get balance itself get, get balance between the two terminals that is why current flows now potential difference potential difference which is denoted by the letter v between two points what is the pot what what is potential difference it is nothing but work done divided by charge okay so suppose when i current is flowing through a circuit whenever this i current flows through a circuit it does some work how it is doing some work suppose a bulb is glowing okay in a circuit in a circuit it is a bulb is connected in a circuit now, as because this bulb is glowing from here light energy and heat energy is coming out okay so this energy of the battery is utilized to glow the bulb to do some work Okay. now how much work is done divided by charge what is the charge so that is called potential difference okay that is v equal to w by q that is called potential difference the si unit of electric potential difference is volt okay this one you should remember now what is volt one volt is the potential difference between two points now see the potential difference is always measured between two points in a current carrying conductor when one joule of work is done to move a charge of one coulomb from one point to the other now potential difference equal to w by q work done by charge when what is the amount of work done one joule work is done how one joule work is done to move a charge of one coulomb from one point to another point now suppose this is a circuit in this circuit Suppose from here to here, one coulomb charge needs to be moved. If one, when one coulomb charge is moving from this point to this point, okay, one joule work needs to be done. That is called one volt. Okay, one volt is the potential difference between two points in a current carrying conductor. When one joule work is done to move. A charge of one coulomb that means to move one coulomb charge if one joule work is done that is called one volt therefore one volt equal to one joule divided by one coulomb okay so one volt equal to joule divided by coulomb okay so this is all about this video in the next video we'll talk about volt meter okay thank you and have a nice day